So if you've ever wondered how to set up your own kind of attack box to simulate, um, you know, real world attacks, real world vulnerabilities, real world explanations to your clients, partners, or whatever, um, I'm going to kind of walk you through how to use VirtualBox, which is a free open software from Oracle, um, and Parrot OS uh, with the security focus in the OVA format. Uh, and I'm going to walk you through each of those two components um, and the basic installs. In order to do that, I would like to get into the hacker mode since we are going to be the threat actor, uh, hacker slash threat actor simulator, I suppose, in this situation. So we'll switch appropriately to the red lights in my studio. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Um, and what we'll find is we're going to be working with, and I'll put these links in the, in the, um, in the video down in the chat, on YouTube, um, is we're going to go ahead and install the Windows host VirtualBox 6.132, which is our most most uh, recent right now. And at the same time, while we're downloading that, we're going to start the download from ParrotSec.org, uh, and I'll have that link as well. So we'll go to Downloads, and they have your normal Security Edition, which you could go through the process of setting up your you know Debian-based VM and then installing it and all that. But they make it really easy, but they don't make it simple. Like IoT and cloud appliances, well, yeah, it could be cloud on my local machine, uh, but virtual machines, whatever. So click here, uh, your normal version, and then also your security image, which comes with all the handful of, uh, of tools and such. So we'll go ahead and download that from them, which will take a little bit. But while we're doing that, we'll go ahead and switch over and install our uh, virtual box. So we'll go ahead and click Run, Open File, I suppose. We'll UAC prompt it on the other screen. We'll bring this over where you can actually see this to some extent. Um, and we'll go ahead and install. We'll just follow our default settings. Um, and it's going to tell you that you're going to lose internet for a second, obviously, because it's going to create this virtual adapter for the uh, the driver installations that happen for their USB pass-through, for their uh, network adapter, and such. So go through this process. I'll go ahead and... Nope, it's already done. So we could say start. I do like to reboot. It's probably fine, but we'll go ahead and say no to the auto start. And I will pause while this finishes downloading. All right, so we are back. We have rebooted and we have opened Oracle VirtualBox. We're going to say import appliance on the file menu. Then we're going to say source local file system. We're going to find our OVA that we've downloaded. There's our Parrot Security Virtual. We're going to say OK. We're going to say Next. And it's going to pretty much do everything for us, unless you wanted to like modify the resources that it's given in some form or fashion, which I'd probably caution against. Um, or if you wanted to modify the folder you were storing it in, which I'd probably heavily say is a good idea. Um, for the illustrative purposes of me just doing this right here, I'm not going to. But it basically kind of pulls in all the information you need. It already sets it up in a NAT format for the network adapter. Uh, and so we're just going to say import and you're going to go ahead and agree to their parent license and their subsidiary information and stuff that's part of their product. And we're going to say, okay. And I will go ahead and while that two minutes is passing, I will go ahead and pause for just a moment and I'll bring us back here in a sec. So our VM import um, finished. So we're very happy. We have parent security powered off. Um, you might want to come in and like, uh, you know, rename it, call it something else. Like instead of parent security, you might call it my attack box dash vm you might call it my you know htb uh, vm if you're using it for hack the box which is probably what i'll use it for so uh, htb vm linux debian everything else stays the same network if you wanted to like modify this and keep it into a host only adapter or you know something that's maybe you create to only allow it not to have access to anything inside uh other than inside that but that is really a, a fine answer for this so we're going to go ahead and say okay leave the re let the rename happen we're going to go ahead and say start and our vm shall boot go ahead and let it boot up and go through its startup process we can probably accelerate this for them uh we haven't started our drivers yet we'll wait a moment Okay, so we're going to log in. We now have a up and you know running at least uh, Parrot VM. So let's go ahead and say sudo apt update, and that is going to be 
uh, user, and then I think it's tour, T O R. Yep. Uh, the opposite of root or the inverse of root, I suppose, from a letter perspective. Um, sudo apt upgrade. Let's see if we have any updates to do. Yes, we do. Just a little bit. But we'll go ahead and update it. And then we'll go ahead and change our password. But like this is essentially what you would have to do to deploy this virtual machine from an OVA perspective. It doesn't take very long. Um, I'll probably stick with you guys and uh, come back here in just a sec after I pause for these updates to finish, and then uh, I'll be right back. Um, in the middle of our update, we've been asked to interact with the window and say, should non-super users be able to capture packets? That probably seems like it's a good idea for a no Good stuff. Probably came out of a security update, so I'll be back. All right, so we're done with that set of updates. Let's go ahead and do sudo apt um, <clears throat> dist upgrade. Let's just see what we got. We're good. Okay, so we're up to date. So let's do pass wd, um, and we're going to do basically our password, um, which is tour here, right? We're going to create a new password. And then we're going to do passwd root, uh, sudo passwd root. Um, uh, it would help if you typed it in properly, so let's do that again. Man, three times a failure. All right, so like this time has to be the charm, right? <laughs> uh, pseudo password root, and we're going to type in. Oh my gosh, like the 1500th times the charm. So that's essentially how you're going to set that out, uh, uh, up, right? Like... And now you have this virtual machine. We could go ahead and get into the graphics and changing all that. But this is the basic install of that. You'll notice you have some basic tools like MSF, uh, MSF console, right? So you'll have your Metasploit framework. You'll have a bunch of other different stuff like pre-installed um, and everything will just run. But now you've set your passwords and you've done your updates. Um, it is time to be able to do any type of uh, enumeration um, and attacks you wanted to simulate. So we'll get into that in a different video. But thank you very much for paying attention. This is how you get your VirtualBox lab kind of set up on your workstation that you're running. So thank you.